let's take a look at this problem. I want to solve this system. Okay, so we got x minus y plus 2z is equal to 3. And x plus 2y plus z is equal to negative 6. And 2x plus z is equal to 0. Double check all my numbers. Okay, I'm going to show this three different ways. I'll start off with the easiest way. I'll show it on the calculator. So this is uh, via the T8384 calculator. Now um, we're going to write down a matrix that goes along with this. So we'll drop our x's, y's, z's, and equals. Keep the numbers in our signs. So I got 1, negative 1, 2, 3. I got 1, 2, 1, negative 6. 2, 0, 1, 0. Notice these ones do not have numbers in front of the variables. There's an invisible one there. So that's one there, negative one there. Uh, down here, okay, and notice here the y is missing. So we put a zero. Now it's important that you put the x values in one column, the y values in one column, the z values in one column, and the number on the other side of the equals in one column. Now the size of this matrix, size is rows by columns, so this is a 3 by 4. Well, let's go ahead and put this in. Exit out what I'm in. Now we'll go to my matrix menu. So I'll do second, x to negative 1. If you got a T83, not a T83+, plus, but just a T83, you'll have a button that says matrix. Then we'll go over to edit, so you can left arrow once over to it, or right arrow twice. We'll do enter on A. Size of our matrix is a 3 by 4. Now if you have numbers here, it's fine. If you don't have numbers, that's fine too. As you type in your new ones, it'll overwrite what you have. So we'll do 3, enter, 4, enter. And we'll have 1, enter. You just type in each number, pressing enter after each one. Negative 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 1, negative 6, then 2, 0, 1, and 0. Now I'm going to use my arrow keys to go over and double check my numbers, see if I put them all in correctly. Now look good. So I'll do second mode, exit out. Okay, now we're going to do second x and negative 1, go back in the matrix menu, right arrow to math, and up arrow to RREF, reduce row echelon form. And I press enter on it. Make sure you choose the one with two R's, not the one with one R. Do enter on it. Go back in my matrix menu, second x to negative 1, that's actually your inverse button. Do enter on A, and then enter again. And let's write down what we got after we did RF. We got 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 0. Now, for three equations, three variables, our first 3 by 3 square here should be a diagonal of 1, zeros of wells. It is. Diagonal 1, zeros of wells. That means it worked. And these will be our answers. This is x, this is y, and this is z. So my answers will be 0, negative 3, 0. Now, if you're wondering the order of the answers, it's in the same order as your columns. x, y, z, x, y, z. It's just not always going to be alphabetical. It'll be whatever order is right here. Okay, that was method 1. And you notice, I'm still following my, uh, my restrictions. If you use matrices to solve, which we just did, you must write down your initial and final matrix for full credit. Here's our initial one, and here's our final one. Okay, method two. We're going to do, um, so I can spell it, matrices by hand. Now, I'm not very good at these. 
Um, so hopefully I don't make a mistake in this video. I hate I hate making a mistake and having to go correct myself or redoing the video. Usually at some point I'll add or subtract or multiply wrong. But we'll see what happens here. I know what my answer should be. As the calculator just told me. Um, okay. Now our goal is we're starting out with our initial matrix and we want to end up with a diagonal one zero zero where else here. So that's our goal. So first thing we want to do is we want to get a one here. Well we have a one there. So that's fine. And then we want to get zeros below it. So you ask yourself, what times this 1 can you then add to this 1 to get a 0 here? Well, that would be negative 1. So we're going to take negative 1 times row 1, and we'll add that to row 2, and that's going to give us our new row 2. Okay, so i got 1, negative 1, 2, 3. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1, plus 2 is 3. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and negative 6 gives us negative 9. Double check that. Okay, that looks right. Okay, now I'm going to look at my, my pivot number here, this 1, and ask myself, what do I multiply it by that I can then add to this 2 to get a 0 here? Well, it'll be a negative 2. It's always the opposite number. So if this is 2, you're going to multiply negative 2 times row 1. And then I'll add that to row 3, and that's going to give us our new row 3. Okay. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 plus 0 is 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6. Let me double check that, since I don't trust myself. It's just basic math, but I can't seem to multiply and add correct a lot of times. Okay, that looks right. Okay, so we got a 1 here, zeros below it. Now we're working our way down the diagonal. So now I want to get a 1 here, working our way down the diagonal. Well, you ask yourself, what can you divide everything in this row by to get a 1 there? Well, I can take row 2 divided by 3, and that's going to give us our new row 3. Okay, so we got 1, negative 1, 2, 3. Uh, 0 divided by 3 is 0. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Negative 1 divided by 3 is negative 1 third. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. And our last row remains as is. Okay. Well, we um working our way down diagonal, so we now got one here, and we want to give zeros below it. So you ask yourself, what can you multiply times this one, and you can then add to this two to get a zero here? Well, it'd be negative two. So we take um uh, trying to think which okay right here I guess negative two times row two. It's not that late. I stayed up with too late last night. Negative 2 times row 2 plus row 3 is going to give us our new row 3. Not that it matters where I put the description at, but... Okay, so I got 1, negative 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, negative 1 third, negative 3. Okay, negative 2 times 0, 0 plus 0, 0. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 times negative 1 third is 2 thirds. So negative 2 times negative 1 third is negative 2 thirds plus a negative 3. That's going to give us, um, let's see, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7 thirds. Okay, negative. 2 times negative 3 is positive 6, plus negative 6 is 0. Okay, good so far, I think. And um, now, working our way down the diagonal. 1 here, 0 is below it. 1 here, 0 is below it. 
Next place we're focused on is right here, and we want to get a 1 there. First off, we can eliminate the fraction by multiplying everything in that row by 3. So we'll take 3 times row 3, and that's going to give us our new row 3. So we got 1, negative 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, negative 1 third, negative 3. 3 times 0, 0. 3 times 0, 0. 3 times negative 7 thirds, negative 7. 3 times 0, 0. Okay. Now we want to, again, we're focused here as we're trying to get a 1 here. So I ask myself, what can I divide everything in that row by to get a 1? Well, we'll take row 3 divided by negative 7. And that's going to give us our new row 3. 1, negative 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, negative 1, third, negative 3. 0 divided by negative 7 is 0. 0 divided by negative 7 is 0. Negative 7 divided by negative 7 is 1. 0 divided by negative 7 is 0. Now this right here is called um, REF form. This is rho echelon. And we could drop out of this. We could do backward substitution, if you remember that. I'm going to continue on further. Trying to find a piece of paper right on. Does I need to write down, write down what I have? I guess that'll work. Okay, so I got... 1, negative 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, negative 1, third, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. I'm going to continue up here. We're going to do the full Gaussian Jordan elimination. That's just Gaussian elimination, what you see right there. So we got 1, negative 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, negative 1 third, negative 3, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, now we, we, got, a diag we got a 1 here, zeros below it. 1 here, zeros below it. 1 here, there's no zeros, but in a sense it would be the same um, pattern. Now we're going to go back up. So we got a 1 here, and we want to get zeros above it. Well, we take a look at the 1 here, and we ask, what do we multiply times 1 that we can then add to the negative 1 third to get a 0 there? Well, that would be 1 third. It's always the opposite number of this. So 1 third times row 3, and we'll add that to row 2, and that's going to give us our new row 2. Okay. 1 third times 0, 0 plus 0, 0. 1 third times 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. One third times one is one third plus negative one third is zero. One third times zero is zero plus negative three is negative three. Now we ask ourselves what do we multiply times this one that we can then add to the two to get a zero there? And that'd be negative two. So we'll take negative two times row three and we'll add that to row one. And that's going to give us our new row one. Negative two times zero is zero plus one's one. Negative two times zero is zero plus negative one's negative one. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3 is 3. Okay, now we're working our way back up to the diagonal. We we're here, and we got zeros above it. Now we're here, and we want to get zeros above it. So then you ask yourself, what do you multiply times 1 that you can then add to the negative 1 to give you a 0 there? That would be a positive 1. So we'll take 1 times row 2, and we'll add that to row 1 to give us our new row 1. 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, negative 3. Okay, 1 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 plus negative 1 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Notice here, 3 equations, 3 variables, our first um, 3 by 3 square here is a diagonal of 1, 0, 0, or else. That's our REF form. Reduced row echelon form. So that's reduced 
row echelon form. So I can spell. Okay. That's your full Gaussian Jordan elimination. And if you got a diagonal of 1, 0, 0, everywhere else here, it means it worked. And this will be X, and this will be Y, and this will be Z. So our answer to this problem will be 0, negative 3, 0. Which is what we came up with uh, right up here. Now I'm going to have to erase this, so let me um, write that down. This is the answer. Because there's one more method I'm going to show. And I'm just undoing all of those. That way I don't have to write the problem down again. Okay. Method three. This is the algebraic way of solving these. What you're going to do is you're going to group the first two uh, equations together and the last two terms together. So we've got x minus y plus 2z is equal to 3. And we got x plus 2y plus z is equal to negative 6. And we got uh, x plus 2y plus z is equal to negative 6. And 2x plus z is equal to 0. Uh, let me just double check everything. You don't have to do that grouping, but I always, if I'm showing this by hand, I like showing the step works 100% of the time. So I group the first two together, and then group the last two terms together. Now in each of these, we're going to eliminate the z's. So here, here's a positive 2z. We need this to be a negative 2z. So we're going to multiply our second equation by negative 2. So we got x minus y plus 2z is equal to 3. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 2y is negative 4y. Negative 2 times z is negative 2z. And negative 2 times negative 6 is positive 12. And we'll add those together. Let me double check myself here. I've done so well in this video so far. I hate to screw it up. x minus 2x is negative x. Negative y and negative 4y is negative 5y. 2z minus 2z drops away. 3 plus 12 is 15. And that's our goal. We're trying to eliminate the z's. So that worked. Now over here, this is a positive z and this is a positive z. We just need one of them to be negative. So I'll multiply my second equation by negative 1. Doesn't matter which one you work with. So we got x plus 2y plus z is equal to negative 6. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times z is negative z. Negative 1 times 0 is 0. x minus 2x is negative x. 2y plus nothing is 2y. z minus z drops away. And negative 6 plus 6 is negative 6. Now we got this equation and this equation. So we got negative x minus 5y equals 15. And negative x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. <coughs> now we want to eliminate the y's at this point. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, this is negative and that's positive. They do have to be different signs. And to figure out what to multiply this equation by, you look at your y and you multiply it by the other number, which is 2 down here. So we're going to multiply this by 2. And this one we multiply by the other number, which is a 5. In case you're wondering, it's actually easier to eliminate the x's here. I'm not doing that, though, because I'm trying to follow my step-by-step my -step I gave in class that works 100% of the time. Uh, group first two equations together, last two equations together, eliminate the z's. Then group the new equations together, eliminate the y's, and so forth. Okay, 2 times negative x is negative 2x. 2 times negative 5y is negative 10y. 2 times 15 is 30. 5 times negative x is negative 5x. 5 times 10y, or 5 times 2y is 10y. And 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Negative 2x, negative 5x is negative 7x. Negative 10y plus 10y drops away. 30 minus 30 is 0. Now, what's left, you want to solve for x. So I divide both sides by negative 7. And we get x is equal to 0. 
<clears throat> now we want to take that and plug that back into one of your equations at this point. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, the second one looks a little easier. So I got negative x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. We just said x is 0, so put 0 in for the x plus 2y equals negative 6. Negative 0 drops away. We got 2y is equal to negative 6. Divide both sides by 2. And we get y is equal to negative 3. So we now know our x, we now know our y. X is 0. Let me write that over here. Y is equal to negative 3. We want to then plug that back into one of our equations and find out what z is equal to. And actually the last one looks really easy. So let's pick that one. So we got 2x plus z is equal to 0. And we just said x was 0. So I got 2 times 0 plus z is equal to 0. 2 times 0 drops away and we get z is equal to 0. So our answer will be 0, negative 3, 0. And those are the three methods for solving a system of equations, three equations, three variables.